Hey guys, I'm Eddie, and in this video I'm going to be showing you what fits into the back of a 2017 Corvette. This also applies to any C7 Corvette, whether it be a Grand Sport, whether it be a Stingray, a Z51, or a Z06. So this video I'm making it because the Corvette.com website states that you can fit 15 cubic feet worth of stuff into the back of this car. What does 15 cubic feet actually mean? Well, I don't know, so let's go ahead and find out. To illustrate what 15 cubic feet actually is, I'm going to use luggage. So let's start one by one. First of all, let's uh, open up the hatch and take a look inside. Let's go ahead and open up the hatch. There's a button down here that you press that deploys the hatch, like so. And per the General Motors website on Corvette.com, there's 15 cubic feet of cargo area back here. So the car does come with some meshy materials to prohibit people from looking into your car. I only have one of the two actual covers installed right now. Um, but I did purchase this on Amazon, it was about $13, I'm going to post a link below and it's basically this net that you see here. And you would be able to see where it's hooked up as I'm going to show you now. It's hooked up right there. And then over there, and lastly, as my shadow gets in the way, over there. And so this was about $13, and this is actually very helpful because my bags and things like that, they don't dance around uh, in the back here. One of the things about the hatch that I do not like is that things, you only have that little barrier to keep things from flying into the actual cockpit itself once you're driving so that makes things a little bit interesting when you're when you have things rolling around back there because honestly that carpet doesn't cause enough friction to prohibit things from flying in so um, I like this net so I think you should get it let's start with some carry-on luggage Carry on luggage number two. Full size luggage. Full size luggage number two. And there you have it. So the moral of the story is that you could fit two carry-ons and two full size suitcases into the back of a Corvette without any issues. That's quite impressive if you ask me. I thought that I was gonna get very little cargo room in this, but it turns out that you get quite a bit. So if you need to sway your significant other as well, with regards to the practicality of the car itself, well, you can just show her this video, or him for that matter, and try to get yourself a brand new Corvette. All right guys, this part of the video is gonna be regarding the cargo capacity behind the cubby, behind the screen and the cubby that's behind it. So to move the screen up and down, basically is that button that's there. You could see the cubby in the back, it has a USB port, and then uh, it's like a cloth type material on the inside, and it does become narrow, uh, both superiorly and inferiorly as you reach the back. The actual dimensions of it could be googled um, behind the, well it could be googled somewhere on the internet but I'm not, I don't have that information handy right now. But this particular video is regard to which weapons you could put back there and with, when I say weapons I basically mean pistols. Um, this video is not about gun control or anything of that nature. I personally do not stick my pistol back here because it is timely to be able to bring that up and bring that down in the in the case of an emergency so I don't think this is the best place to put a weapon but to each their own okay if you do choose to put your weapon back there um, that's up to you and you know just make sure nobody could get into it but nevertheless um, 
my weapon that I have right here that is currently uh, sans magazine. It, I'm also not going to clear it out right now because um, I need my other hand to hold up the video camera, but trust me, it is empty. It is a Glock 26. So this particular pistol, if you try to put it in here like so, it won't fit. So I'll go ahead and show you. It doesn't fit. If you try to tuck it in like so and manipulate it, it will go ahead and fit like that. But the the magazine, if you have the if you have the thumb in this particular model, if you have the extender for the for the pinky grip, um, it will not fit. But if you do go ahead and place it like so, and pardon me as I wiggle around, if you go ahead and oh, this particular part right here um, needs to come off. So let me just set the camera down. Okay, it's now off. So if you go ahead and place the pistol like so, gently, it will go ahead and fit back there. So once again, if you have to pick that up in the case of an emergency or to defend yourself, um, to basically wait for the screen to come down and then put the, wait for the screen to come down, pick it up like that, wiggle it gently out, and then you know rack it and such. It will take a couple seconds. So. Um, you know, it's just illustrating what fits. And if you want to know the dimensions of the Glock 26, which is the pistol I have right here, um, you could go on, Glock, on the Glock website and, um, you know, research it and compare your concealed carry pistol. Home feed series 217 XM220. You could compare your pistol size with that one and see if it if it fits behind the behind the screen. So <clears throat> once again, I don't aim to try to get dislikes from people for um, basically showing off my pistol and um, expressing my opinions. But I want to help people who wonder if it will fit back there. So thank you very much for watching. So thank you very much for watching. I like thumbs up. Please try to avoid thumbs down and instead leave me a comment below telling me why you think I suck. And thanks for watching and please subscribe. Have a happy new year.